Welcome to Abby's Ninja Studio Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing the Turtle Layer Attack. This set comes with five minifigures and is great. I got it for $40 on sale at Walmart. There is a... Let's just give a quick overview of it. We'll start at the top. It includes this really cool lamp post thing with the white minifigure head shaped light. This thing has a little hook in the back which you can turn it on and a minifigure can go on. This ramp, you can place somewhere else if you want to, it just goes off. There's a fire hydrant right behind it, so that's really cool. And then it has a little sewer hole that you can flip open like this. And if you flip it hard but light enough, it will stay up. And then the second, the, the second story, yeah. These things come out, like these little inserts, and just go back on and attach to those pegs, like the bottom, it just touches the those. And um, this is a desk. I'm guessing it's Donnie's desk, and a mini figure can actually hang on this and hang over the edge. It includes the two tools, and it just goes back right in there. You can actually put it over there if, if you want it, like right here. Or really those, but this is the skateboard ramp. It has four pegs, but it only holds two skateboards, and it's the same thing as the other, like that. And then they have a pizza flare right here. You just pull that back, and the pizza goes in there like that. And then you fling the pizza. Ta -da! Okay. Down here, the last story, there's stairs to get to the second one. Then they have a really cool thing in the back that says caution. And then they have that sign right there. And there's a lever in the back that if you push it, it's like dynamite and it goes down. And then these things come out as well. These things, and this is a desk. And the doors actually do open, although that they are very small and only fit the smallest of buttons. So, and then they have the little light right there. I thought that was a really cool thing. I used that in one of my sets. And then they have that, and then this. If you get, like, um, Shredder's Dragon Bike and Donnie's little tile thing that he comes with, the map, you can put it in there, and then they have a lever and drawers. I just thought that was a really cool insert. And it goes over here like this. And then it has this insert. It has two miniature containers and three, I guess those are blow horns. Really good design for a Lego shelf. Only thing I would have done differently is somehow put like a backboard on it. But um, that's just really cool to have there. What about, I also like about this set is the mutagen dripping from the sides. So that was really cool. It actually has the from the Ninja Turtle sets right there. Like this one that Sensei meditates under. And then they have like this little jail thing. And the minifigures can go on top of there, on top of there. This thing comes out. Shredder's training thing for the turtles. You spin this little gear right here. You just spin it and it goes around. So, and then it has those little pegs right there that you can attach it on. I would change it around a little bit, the design, because it doesn't really stay on very well. It just slides out. It doesn't really attach. Skateboard ramp I already showed you. Maybe if it can hang on to the top. It can go up here like this. If you really wanted it to. There we go. And then this thing is like Chris Bradford can go in here, or the foot soldier that comes with it. And you just flick them up. It's a really cool ramp because the minifigure's legs just fit in here. And you just flip it up, like that. And then it also comes with this really cool TV. It's really cool, and, um... I just thought it was cool because it bends up and down. You can change the sticker if you had different ones, the TV antenna. And then it has different colored pegs for each of the turtles. Now I'll look at the minifigures and we'll review them too. Let's see what minifigures came with this, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. Okay, 
Yeah, let's go over there and review the minifigures. Okay, first up we have the Foot Soldier. It comes with a shuriken and a Psy. Well, yeah, a Psy staff. And this is one of the regular Foot Soldiers. They do have one that comes with the P the Show Racer set that's like, a, I guess, a better version. But just to test out this cannonball, let me show you how it works. Ah, like that. Is that done? Then we have Leonardo. I like that face. I like how the turtles have different faces, so you can't really get doubles. Oh, wait. Here we have Sensei. One of the main reasons I wanted the set, he's exclusive. He is kind of bendy. His ears bend, but he's a pretty firm minifigure. I don't really, really like the dress minifigures because the base comes off too easily. But it was really cool. And then Chris Bradford, they call it the Dark Ninja on the thing, but it's Chris Bradford because you can tell by the shoulder paddings on the back and on the front. And his, like, um, See if I can get this thing center. Center, center, center. Anyway, he has like that weird mustache thing. And then last mini figure to review is Raphael. This was I only have one version of Raphael and I wanted to collect all the turtles, so that's also one of the reasons I got this set. I like how the turtles like all have separate shells. I'll show you that. Leonardo has like a strap. And Raphael has like just that. He and Donnie share the same, he and Mikey share the same piece. And Leo and Donnie share the same piece thing. So if you like this review, comment and favorite and subscribe. And I don't know if you like the Germano Stilton books, but I have like 30 of those waiting to go out. Tell me your favorite character from the Ninja Turtles and from Germano Stilton books. And I will send you one. Be sure to put your address in the comments below. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this first issue of Abby's Ninja Studio Reviews.